Here's a tutorial on how to import string data into Blender and how to process it in geometry nodes. For that, we will use the CSV importer extension, which since today also has support for string data. Let's have a look at a sample dataset. We have cities in Germany and latitude and longitude coordinates. When I drag and drop this one into the Blender viewport, I see it got imported and now I can go to the geometry nodes tab now we take a look at the spreadsheet, we can see we have position, latitude, longitude and city. And we would expect the strings to be shown here, but the spreadsheet doesn't support strings themselves. So we represent all the cities by integers and we have a lookup table in our German to nodes setup, which will then translate these numbers into our strings. The first thing we want to do now is to create a new geometry nodes setup. And when I now press Shift A, I can go to Group and here I can find new options, for example, this one, City. And this is now the lookup table in order to get this index here into a string data. When we press Tab, we can tap into this um, geometry nodes group and uh, we will see this uh, index switch node here with all the strings in alphabetical order and when I access this for example with a, a string to curves node and put this one into the geometry, out, geometry nodes output and go over it then I can see the corresponding uh, cities. Now I want to access multiple strings at once and this can be done with a for each zone so let me place this one here and I say okay I want to have a geometry which is our input geometry I want to access an attribute in this case a named attribute called city the city attribute should be um, the attribute I want to loop over so I say okay this attribute should now connect here to my city and this city should connect to this um, this string should connect to here and I want to loop over this and want to take the geometry no geometry that comes out here. And when I place this one here, I can see I have my cities. Uh, I can also now use a set position node. I will use now named attributes for the uh, longitude and for the Latitude, I will combine them into a vector, x and y. And I will also use a math node, um, no, a vector math node in order to position them nicely. Offset and uh, let's make them a bit here. Okay, and now I have all my strings pos positioned. Next, I want to decrease the size. And I can even go into the node tree here and say I want to change um, the appearance of this string. I can make changes and these changes will update. I hope you find this useful and see you in the next tutorial.